Hi there. Today I want to show you how you can build your events and exhibitions more interactive and more engaging. So you can build your own tools using Formaloo. You can do your event registrations or even application format of your uh, events. For example, people want to apply to your website and then you give authority to some of those applicants to register and buy tickets. Uh, you can do, do those with Formula to capture leads for your events, provide partnership opportunities, hire volunteers, get speaker nominations, run quizzes and games during your events. Or you can do surveys for your event and receive feedback. Uh, and you can do all those, bring all those and make all those inside Formula and you can embed them into your website. So I will show you how you can do it today. So in your formal dashboard, you can start by creating your folder for your event. I'll name it event management, or you can just create your form right in your dashboard. I'll just, I just want to keep my forms organized. So I'll create a folder here in my event management folder. You can create your folders inside folders for your teams, for example, your operations teams, your marketing teams, etc. But uh, let's start with creating a form. Uh, you can uh, use uh, that ready to use templates, for example, for event registrations. Here it is. You can start the registrations form. You can change the title based on your requirements. And this is a very simple registration form. You can customize it or change the appearance from the appearance tab, change the colors. Here are some color templates. You can also change uh, using the hex code, you can add background, etc. So I'll save my form. This is a very simple form. Uh, you can embed this form into your website using this button. How can I use my form? And you can uh, get a script code, copy it and paste it into your website. Also, you can use a widget. Uh, widgets are like a chatbot right here and they look pretty simple, pretty cute. And you can change its position or its view, how you want it to be seen in a single step or multi-steps. And uh, yeah, this is how it works. And it's pretty simple. As you see, it, it doesn't have any complexity at all. And um, so you can add your fields from the left pane. You can just drag them and drop them into the place you want to add title and change its properties. And yeah, you can delete fields. You can duplicate them and like that. Yeah, and you can also change the settings. For example, change the URL of your form, customize it based on your needs. For example, I'd say event registration or something like that. You can save it and use it. I'll get back to my folder. Here is my form. So let's say now I want to create a live quiz during my event. So I'll start from creating a new form. I'll start from scratch, click on the plus button and you can choose from the single step or multi-step form. You can change it later, of course. So I'll select multi-step. Here you have to add a title. If you don't want the title to be shown, you can change it from the appearance tab. Here is show forms, title and description. So it will be shown on or hidden based on your settings. And I'll just name it live poll. So I'll add a question to my form. I'll say a single choice question and I'll ask which talk have you enjoyed so far? So I'll add the options like talk one. So this is a question and I'll add another question. For example, where are you located? You can of course make it a choice, multi-choice or single choice. Of course, location is not a multi-choice, but you can make it a single choice uh, question. For this case, I want to make it a text field so you see how it will be seen inside the form. So this is my form. I'll choose a color template like this one and save it. And let's view our form. So let's get back to dashboard. And this is our form. By clicking on it, you can see some more insights into it. There are charts, responses, uh, the table for uh, the responses, integrations. You can integrate your form into different tools. There are more than 3,000 favorite tools in the world you can connect it to. And here is how you can share your form. And here is our presentation tab. So in the presentation tab, I will enable the presentation mode and click on view. 
This is my presentation mode. In the first page, you see the form itself. It's a live poll and it asks some questions and people can answer and submit the form. Of course, I can change the color of this text to be more visible, but let's leave it for now. And this is the views over time. You see, I didn't refresh the form, but it changed. Uh, it refreshed itself so I can see the views over time and um, responses over time. And which talk have you enjoyed so far? 100% one response has said talk one. And the next question, where are you located in New York? So I'll answer it multiple times to show you how it works and how it changes. So as you see, my charts and diagrams get refreshed themselves. I don't refresh the page and you can embed this page. This is a public link. You can embed it into your website or your live page and you can get feedback from your audience as the event is going on. And this is the diagram of the places people, are, people in your live event are located. So it's a cool way to display it. The bigger the font of each location the more it has been selected and it's that cool right so you can hide uh, these diagrams if you wish from these settings and also you can show the responses so let's enable this and look into our live mode so in the last page you see a table for your responses and you can have questions there for example i'll say in my form i'll ask do you have any questions and uh, people can ask their questions inside the form. And when you display this page, the, the audience will see the questions and they can vote on it. For example, I vote this question, I downvote this question, and you can see the number of votes on each question. So you can ask those questions from your speaker. So it's a very cool way to ask the most wanted questions. You can also create NPS feedback. As you know, NPS stands for Net Promoter Score, and it's a way to ask your audience to rate the likelihood that they would recommend your event. So to create an NPS form, uh, you can create uh, just as simple as creating any other form. You will ask one question, which is an NPS. Uh, this score 0 to 10 is uh, what we need. I'll just drop it into my questions area, and I'll ask the question and make this question required because this is the most important feedback you can get from your audience. And also you can add a question to enable the audience give more feedback, write what they would recommend. Yeah, this is not necessary to be required. Yeah, so this is our form and let's save it and view it. Yeah, this is our NPS feedback and it's that simple, but it's really, really valuable and it could be really helpful for you to improve your event. You can also create many other tools and forms to capture leads, create partnership opportunities on your website, hire volunteers and get speaker nominations, get more feedback and many other surveys. So I just try to show you how you can get started. If you want to receive more templates that are ready to use for you, just check the description area. You will see the links into more templates. They are very simple to use and very simple to customize for based on your needs. So I hope it was useful for you. And if you have any questions, comment down below or just email us at info at Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed it. <music>